it's Monday the 29th of June 2020 and this week we're beginning a new theme, we are the body of Christ, we are the body of Christ. Now there's a question that's been asked today, what is a Christian? Many people are asking that and many people have different ideas about what a Christian is. Some people say a Christian is a good person, a kind person, a nice person. Some people say that a Christian is somebody who's born in a Christian country or in a Christian family. Somebody who's not a Muslim or not an atheist or not a Buddhist or not a Hindu, therefore they're a Christian. Or some people say, well, it's somebody who's been baptised or christened as a baby, which has made them a Christian. But actually the Bible says none of these things is a Christian. A Christian is somebody who has come to God and confessed to God that they are a sinner, that they do wrong and that they need forgiven. Somebody who believes that Jesus Christ died on the cross for their sin that he took the punishment for their sin. And so somebody comes in repentance, somebody who comes and, and confesses that they're a sinner, ask God to forgive them because of Jesus and ask God to come live within their heart and to live for God for the rest of their life. That's what a Christian is. And when you become a Christian, lots of things happen. But one thing that happens is you become a member of the church. Now, not necessarily the church down the road from you, the church across the street from you, but the church, which means all Christians who have ever lived, whether dead or alive, all together form the church. Another word for it or phrase for it in the Bible is the body of Christ. Because when Jesus died on the cross and gave up his body, in a sense, the Bible says we died with him. Our sins were in his body. We were in his body as he died as believers and so we are forgiven. So we can become a member of the body of Christ, the church. First Corinthians chapter 12, verses 12 to the end of the chapter, talk about the body of Christ. And I recommend that you read those if you can this week. First Corinthians 12, 12, the body is a unit. Our natural bodies is a unit though it is made up of many parts, and though all its parts are many, they form one body. And so it is with Christ, and so it is with the body of Christ, with the church. For we were all baptised by one spirit into one body, whether Jews or Greeks, slave or free, and we were all given the one spirit to drink. So just like my body, your body is one body made up of many parts, so the body of Christ, the church, there is one church, one body, and it's made up of lots of different Christians, lots of different parts of the body as it were. And that raises lots of different questions. First question is, well, what part of the body am I? <laughs> am I the appendix? Am I the kneecap? Am I the toe? Am I the foot? What part of the body am I in the body of Christ in the church? What role do I have to play? Because we are all different. We all have different roles. We have different personalities, different gifts which God has given us, different talents, different uh, ability, different amounts of time that we can spare, different commitments in our life. We are all different and we all have a part to play. What part is it that you have to play as a Christian in the body? What part do I have to play and how do we play those roles best? How can we develop um, that part? The part that I have to play is as a, a pastor, as a leader within the church. That's, that's my key role as a teacher and a leader. How do I do that best? How can I develop that? How can I serve in that way? How is it that we all work together? Because we're all so different. How can we work together? We want our all the different organs within us to all be working together. All our limbs need to function together in our natural bodies. Otherwise, it doesn't work properly. So how can we all work together in the church? What happens in the church if, if one of the parts is, is finding it difficult? Just like if, you're, if your knee is finding it difficult to function properly, then it affects your whole being. And so if there's a Christian within the body of Christ who's finding it difficult, then it affects the whole body. So how can we make sure that we look after all the different parts of our body? Is your body healthy? Most of us have health problems in our body. What about the church? Is the church healthy? Or has the church got problems? And if it has health problems in, the se in that sense, then how can those be, be cured, be healed? We care about our own bodies, our own natural bodies. Do we care about the body of Christ, the church? We look after and spend time on, on looking after our own bodies, but do we spend time looking after the church 
And how many different parts in the body are there? In the natural body, there's like 200 odd bones and about 100 odd organs. How many different parts in the body of Christ are there? Can we count them? And if we are a part of the body of Christ, then how does that make us act or think or behave? As Christians, we are not alone. We are not isolated. We are not loners, even if you live alone. But you are part of the body of Christ. You belong to others. And together we form the body of Christ. We are joined together. What does that mean for our lives? Well, we're going to find out a bit more tomorrow. God bless you.